Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is for the window, and this is Overwatch. As you can see, the map here is Rialto. This is Wingman, because I don't think there is a 5v5 version of Rialto out there, but maybe there is. It's just not uh, in any kind of standard play. Either way, the suspect here is picking off the terrorists in spawn, and this guy that's pushing up on him. Looks like he is walling right off the bat. I'm gonna tap him down and take down Iceberg, make his way over here towards middle. Aiming on him through the wall, but I don't see any kind of aimbot or uh, other external assistance happening right now. That being said, well, wall hacks are not exactly allowed either. Gonna be pushing his way up here, moving his way towards the bomb site. Looking over here, comes out right on target and is able to do some damage to Kite. Now, obviously in the uh, Wingman Overwatch, we have had a lot of rage hackers. So I do expect people to be cheating in this game, and as you can tell, the suspect already is with the walls. But we'll see if he decides to go full rage. He's going to be pushing here and trying to take down Kite. Looks like he's going to peek over here to the left, spots out the building, and because the building was in front of him, he couldn't shoot him, and Kite was able to dink him. Suspect's able to finish off Kite, and it looks like the round goes to the CTs. Now right now I can't tell if the terrorists are cheating or not, but Kite did hit some pretty dirty shots. Ooh, another really dirty shot right there. Oh, another really dirty shot. And the suspect goes rage by. Alright guys, yeah, this is pretty much what I expected to happen. Pretty much this turns into a hacker versus hacker game. I'm not 100% sure that Kite is cheating, but considering he just hit some pretty ridiculous Deagle shots, he might very well be. Either way, we're going to move on to the end of this because there is nothing else to determine here. And uh, where is my mouse cursor? Okay. <laughs> and report it. All right. Aim assistance. That is evident beyond reasonable doubt. We saw him turn everything on. So this is evident beyond reasonable doubt with vision assistance as well. And other external assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, I don't think he was going to be griefing his teammate throughout that game. And I wasn't going to watch the entire game of him staring at the floor to find out. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence. Let's move on to the next case. And here we are on game number two, which also just so happens to be a wingman game on Lake this time. Looks like the suspect is already, well, using everything. Uh, so is Puffin. Puffin's just kind of obliterating them with dualies. And uh, if you look at Puffin, he is aiming backwards. And yeah, I mean, if, if the CTs here aren't cheating, they are completely screwed in this situation. Uh, <laughs> so he's taking them out in the warm-up. We don't even really need to get through the warm-up to report this. I could just move on, but I am kind of curious. I'm curious if the other team is cheating, so we're going to wait here for the next, like, 30 seconds and find out. All right. Should be any moment now. Eight seconds here. Suspect is just kind of spawn camping them for now, but let's see what happens if the tables turn around when the game goes live. Here we go. Suspect's running in here backwards. CTs are getting over there towards the outside HUD area, and it looks like, well, the suspect's just gonna hunt them down and take them down, and yeah, I don't think the other team's cheating. I think the suspect's uh, and his teammate are the only ones cheating in this game. Let's move on to the end of this and report this and get it out of the way. Uh, major disruption aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, he wasn't really griefing his teammate in the beginning of this game that we saw. I don't think he was going to do it throughout the rest of the game. But you know what? Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just a minor disruption thing. It's only two-week ban compared to the permanent uh, account bans up here. Let's move on to the third case. And here we are on case number three. As you can see, the suspect here has 14 kills, 35% uh, headshot percentage with 109 damage around. It looks like he's trying to jump on his teammate's head here. Maybe this is... Oh, nice little uh, boost to get some speed going. And it looks like he can hop around pretty well here. Kiwi's obviously got an auto sniper. It looks like Kiwi's got 14 kills. This might be one of those games where uh, him and Kiwi are cheating for the terrorists to win this game, but so far we haven't had enough evidence of that. Looks like he's going to push his way off. Pre fires here. You heard the footsteps though. Takes down McCall as well and goes for the last kill here. He heard him drop down. Is able to take him down. One guy at corner. That would be the last CT left alive. It is looking like walls and obviously a bunny hop script. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna go down. 
Yeah, definitely a bunny hop script. I mean, I don't care how good this guy's movement is. Going up stairs like that consistently and uh, all the hops he's doing at this point, it's just, it's not going to happen. All right, guys. So given that he is using a bunny hop script, most likely the fact that he was uh, pre-firing the angles, even though he could hear the footsteps, a better player would be able to pre-fire those kind of things. But I'm going to have to say the suspect most likely is walling. We'll get a little bit more evidence before this report, just to make sure that either way he's holding for the bomb. He knows where he planted the bomb. He should know the approximate spam spot. This is actually something that top players can do. Lamb's going to go for it. And... Looks like he aimed on the guy's head, rather than just spraying the spot. And again, now McCaw's going to come over here and clear around looking for him. And see how the suspect adjusts his aim over towards McCaw's head and is able to take him down. Okay, so wall hacks, 100% confirmed. Only thing we don't have is aim assistance at this point. And uh, we'll probably get evidence of that before this is over, too, considering how blatant he is. Alright, gonna throw the bomb down in the exact same spot and shoot at Kiwi through the wood there. He's like, Kiwi, get out of my spot! I want to go over there and shoot these guys as they try to defuse again. Looks like the CTs are slowly rotating over. One of them is making his way into the site, but since they're playing so loose on the site, they should be able to take the site fairly easily. The problem here is where the bomb's planted for. And McCaw is going to take, or Suspect's going to take down McCaw. And now one's flanking them. That was a good flank. It almost completely turned around the round. But at this point, there's not much the CTs can do, as the Suspect's just going to shoot them through the wood and take them down. Though, Lamb, I think, did quite a bit of damage to the suspect there before he died. Last round of the first, or sorry, first round of the second half. You know, tomato, tomato. No, <laughs> totally different things. Either way, uh, now that he's on the CT side, ooh, nice little hop thing through the thing, but obviously he is using uh, scripts. This is not legit. So, hey, he's shaking his mouse a little bit to get a little more distance. At least he knows the movement mechanics to an extent. And it looks like he is not going to be able to make this hop. He's going to decide to try to push in here and see if he can take down one of these terrorists close to jungle. Here's the footsteps. Of course, we know he's walling from the prior rounds. And he finally makes the jump, hops through, and goes for Shark, but not quite able to take him down. Alright, he's hitting that pretty consistently now. Looks like the terrorists are going to be making their way over here towards the A site. Four or three of them coming up A ramp, two of them going through Palace. Suspect's going to hop through that hole again and make his way over here towards B. I think he's more obsessed with the movement than he is with winning the game. But you know what, considering he pretty much has walls and all that other stuff, I, I figure that uh, he's just kind of doing his own thing. Alright, kind of just holding, looking at him through the wood. When McCaw comes across here, I think he's going to shoot him right through the wood. Oh, maybe he will peek it. Peeks it, goes for the kill on the shark, not quite able to uh, get the headshot. He was technically on target. And it looks like the terrorists are going to win that round too. Now, he's just shooting at him right through the box. Comes out, looks like he's got a bit of an aim lock going on, but it's not actually locking on. Maybe he's just got really... Oh, a hair in his mouth? No, it's an aim lock. It's just not hitting. I'm not sure what's going on here. Does he have like a high sense? He's just trying to flick over to them and like he's missing? Is that what's going on or is that really an aim lock? Because if it is an aim lock, that's got to be the worst aim lock I've ever seen in my life. He didn't hit one bullet. And I can't put it past him because obviously he's got the b-hop scripts. He's got the wall hacks. Should have an aim lock. Why would he, uh. There we go. There we go. Alright, able to take down McCall top mid. Gonna be making his way over here towards the B site. Hopping his way up catwalk. It looks like a couple are over there towards market. No one's planting the bomb. 
He's trying to lock onto people through the wall. I think. What the hell is going on? Is he just shaking his mouse left and right? He's able to take down Nautilus. He's able to take down Lamb. Is this seriously like an aimbot that's this bad out there? Alright, it is. It is. Wow, that... That is literally the worst aimbot I have ever seen. Like, he missed the majority of his shots. Has anyone ever seen an aim lock that bad? Where it, like, locks on and misses... <laughs> consistently? <laughs> oh my. Alright. Uh, well, at least it has good movement ability with this cheat that he's using, right? Makes his way up the stairs. And is able to take down Nautilus, takes down Beta, and, well, the final two. The aim lock worked there, didn't it? But uh, before that, it was pretty freaking atrocious. Okay, major disruption aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance. Honestly, the, fu the fancy movement was fun to watch, but at the end of the day, it is a cheat. So, evident beyond reasonable doubt. That was not natural at all. Guarantee he's not hopping around like that without some kind of script going. All right, minor disruption griefing. Now that one is insufficient evidence. He wasn't technically griefing his teammates and trying to lose the game. He was kind of being a selfish prick and playing just for himself. But at the end of the day, he was trying to win the game and trying to do it while having fun with his movement. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these cases. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.